Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. This is week four of hashtag Octuga 2024. This is going to be my final video, so hopefully you have enjoyed the series, and hopefully you've been inspired to pull out the cozy bits and make something for yourself that brings you joy. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me. So... <clears throat> This is supposed to be binding week four, but as we talked about in week three, I did the binding and cover all in one. So this is my final video. So Tracy should have a video today with her binding. I know there are some really interesting journals in this series. So while I did a simple three hole pamphlet stitch, there's some really unique journals in this and I'm really looking forward to watching this week's videos to see how a couple of those come together. So if you haven't already, I do encourage you to check out the other collaborators. There is definitely a wide variety of styles, wide variety of ideas, and just <clears throat> lots of room to be inspired by the creators who participated in this collaboration. I want to tell a special thank you to Stacy and um, <coughs> Karen, excuse me, oh my goodness, to Stacy and Karen for inviting me to do the collaboration. I really appreciate that you thought enough of my work to ask me to participate. So thank you very much for that. I've enjoyed working in it. Um, I did just kind of do some <coughs> simplicity. Well, not so much today. I was cleaning up scraps and it took me like two hours because I sat here messing around. <laughs> so for reference, today's October 7th. So I really worked very hard to get this finished. And um, so I just want to show you the end result because there are added bits that were not in here um, the last time that we were together for this journal. Hopefully that's enough where you can see the whole thing, but not be so far away that you can't see the thing. So on the front here, we have one of the images. Now <clears throat> there are, yeah, there were freebies for the cover week and I didn't use any. I just used one that I had already had printed with the kit. Okay. But <clears throat> do know that those with all the freebies that were assigned to me for this collaboration are either on my Kofi or in my Facebook group. So if I've been trying to post those on Sundays, like we're supposed to. So, and I've pinned them to the featured. So if you're in my Facebook group and you've missed them, those are under the featured section. So go check there. Um, I don't know necessarily where everyone else has theirs, where everyone else have their freebies posted, has their freebies posted. That's a grammar thing. And sometimes I get tripped up. I'm pretty good with grammar, but anyway, to so follow the link tree and that's gonna tell you where everybody else has their freebies in case I haven't said that before. Because of the nature of how I've worked on this journal and how I have been filming, I fear I have missed telling you some important things that <clears throat> I should have been sharing along the way. I don't think I have, but you don't want to be inside my head right now. Again, this is October 7th and this video is going to air October 22nd. So look at me all ahead of schedule. So on the front here, I have the uh, a couple of the pumpkins and just a leaf. I did a little bit of embossing there, nothing too much. There's still room to add a, quite a bit of embellishing to this journal. Well, I mean, it's a gator mouth, but of course it is. I need to maybe get a piece of ribbon or sari or something to tie around it because I didn't put a closure on it. Okay, are you guys ready for the fun part? Oh, I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. Hang on. Okay. I can't believe I was going to finish it yesterday and then I didn't get back to it. And then I totally forgot this morning because I thought I was all done. And But so you guys know I couldn't use the fluffy deer. But I present to you the Fodder X. <laughs> is it a fox or a deer? That is the question. So I just made a note of myself in that week one video questioning that deer having a fluffy tail and then deciding I just couldn't use it. Then Grace says the deer may be a fox and then Kirsten, it's a fodder X. And then all that kinds of laughs ensue. So it was such a fun interaction. It truly made me laugh with such joy. So thank you to Kirsten and Grace for humoring me with the fodder X. I love it. I just, I had to put that in here. I was like, I had the piece printed here 
then I didn't want to throw it away. But I could not figure out a way to use that piece in this journal. <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to do it. And then I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just make it like a spoof. <laughs> so thank you, lovely ladies, for the entertainment and for the interaction. Like, how much fun was that, right? Okay. So anyway... And I don't mean any disrespect to Karen or Stacy, whichever one of you that that design is. <clears throat> I think it's Stacy, but anyway, no disrespect. The kit is lovely. The colors in the kit are fantastic. I just couldn't bring myself to use the deer with the fluffy tail. I just couldn't. But I said, this is about as cutesy as I get with kits. And so that's why I chose the pieces that I did to work with because <clears throat> it's what I knew I could handle working with so I hope that makes sense and again it's zero disrespect to the the content creators or the digital creators excuse me they did wonderful work and they did great work it is just my personal preference and my personal taste and I loved the kits and I think the colors are wonderful but I just the deer I just couldn't do the deer okay so we did this heat embossing together there's a little bit of stamping heat embossing on the mushroom this is just a piece I just glued down for some decoration on that page. This flips out and we have our hedgehog. And then uh, here I used the um, what to expect in Octuga as a belly band. And then I put the outline that was provided to the collaborators in here in a belly band. I thought that was really a fun thing. So someday when I look back on this, I'll be like, oh, okay. And then, um, then and one of the things I was doing today was trying to clean up the scraps and use the scraps, whether, whether to finish the giveaway journal or to just add more to this for things I can use later or whatever. So I have a little envelope here and inside I have the um, hedgehog and I have a orange, just a journaling card folded in half and put in there. The fox belly band with the freebie bingo card and then one of the off cuts. I just, I just tucked in there. It can be used for a journaling space or, or something. And then I just have that tucked in the flap so that way we can see the acorn. We have our sewn fabric there. In this packet we have one, a couple of the postcards that were in the kit. And then the skunk badger. I think this is the skunk. I don't even know. We didn't make up a word for that one, guys. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, I I'm being goofy today. All right. So, I have the chipmunks in that pocket. And I believe this pocket was one of the freebies from Karen. This is a belly band that I didn't put anything into. So, I could just stick the owl in there for now. Over here, we have fox and the postcard with the owl. <clears throat> I heat embossed the bird up here. I have on the bottom of the door, I had mixed some, did I do that on screen? I don't even know. Um, fossilized amber oxide and a touch of black ink to make kind of a fallish colored sidewalk going up to the door. This was the mistake that we were covering and flips up. So there's room here to add something, journaling, a picture, whatever. Over here, I used one of the circles for a little tuck spot. And there's the other bingo card from the freebie. And then my little gnome folder thingy and I cut the tabs off of it. Um, one of the things you guys will have known about me if you've been following me is I don't have a loving relationship with the file folders because I don't like how I cut the tabs. It's not the design, it's my ability to cut them out. <laughs> Same with this one. So lots, lots of places to still put things in journal and this is a little tuck here. The way I glued that, it's not gonna hold a lot, but I had to put the snail in here as a tribute to Kirsten and her, her journal because I really enjoyed her video with the snail stamp and the glacier paste trail. It was just super cute. And then I love the shimmer. And I just had so much fun when I was stamping and stenciling on these pages and spraying and, and just a lot of fun stuff. So in this packet, we have the little owl booklet that I made. 
And that's just stapled in the middle. The little bear journaling card in there. And then this is the pumpkin page, half page, folded. So that goes in there. This opens up. We have our little cute little cuddly critters there. And then inside here, we have our rabbit. It's snug and I've I've, I've trimmed it down a couple times, but part of it is that I didn't back it with super heavy paper, so. Glitter all over this from something, I don't know. Maybe my festive compendium glitter is still on my table. The center signature. On the back of this, I did a belly band as a top tuck, and then these little paper clips. I just put those pages in here, so if I want to make paper clips, I've got all the bits there that go together for the size and everything. And here, I had to use the chipmunk woodland. So I backed him with some of the blackberry dyed paper and then made him a little booklet to go in there. So he just peeks out. And then this is the other half of the front image here that I just love the colors. I thought it was really pretty. Those colors just make me really happy more of the that was washing off the stencil i just used a wipe and put it on the page so all that glitter transferred i love it and then over here on the fox i used some of my bronze paste that my friend made me and put out on there and then i stamped on the postcard note to myself by taking risk um, and not quite knowing what you're doing you'll discover you'll be wonderful what you'll discover will be yourself. And I just think that's really important. And I am needing some personal affirmation right now, just with some personal struggles. So I thought that would be really fun. We have this page that I backed with a super cute hedgehog napkin. I love him. And then just a little piece of scrapbook paper, one of the kit tags and then again I think this was off that bingo freebie page so I just tucked it in there as well <clears throat> I used one of the half circles and cut it in half to make the little tab I have to glue that better one thing about doing the flip throughs and and I encourage this for everybody even if you're obviously not filming is go back through your work and check all of your corners and your edges and just make sure everything is glued down really well um, so that you don't have that issue. Now part of this is that's in that spine, so I may trim that off. I don't know, we'll see. So in here, we have another one of the postcards from the kit. And then on this, I just took my gold jelly roll and drew on the twine. And then in here, we have one of the cards that came and then one of the cards that came. So, <clears throat> and then in this little pocket here, there was the cutest little tiny envelope in the kit and it had these tiny little cards and it was just so sweet and I had to use the little tiny things. Kind of the, makes me think about my friend who loves to make little tiny things, so. I like to use things in my journals that I feel like just bring me joy. It makes me think about people that I love and care about and inspire me to want to work and continue my work with filming and all that stuff. So I got the little chipmunk stamp here. And then I covered, so remember I had the overlap from the squirrel flip and so I have this ribbon and I just covered it with that. Very rustic feeling. And in this pocket, of course, we have the cute little chickamunk in there, and I use the chipmunk word. And then another one of the postcards. I think I use all the postcards in here. Tag. And then this is just a scrap of cardstock that I thought the color looked nice in there. It was in the bin, and I thought, well, I'll stick it in there. And then over here, same thing with the owl. I just made the envelope with the owl and I backed it with one of the other envelopes and cut it down and then just a couple pieces of scrap in there and then in the back pocket we have the squirrel I moved the little mouse with the pumpkin to be back here I just thought it fit better back here and then the other half sheet that I stuck in there 
So that's it. That's our Octuga, hashtag Octuga 2024. So I hope that you've enjoyed this series. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me. You know you have a lot of options. And so just thank you for uh, spending your time with me and all the wonderful feedback I've gotten. You guys have been amazing. And I just really appreciate um, everything. It's been wonderful feedback. Is that gonna fit? No, I'll cut that white edge off. But I want to put this in here as well because it tells me who the people that I was able to connect with and work with in this project were. So there we go. Okay, well, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.